The first trip that Jeremy and I took together, we went to Fort Bragg. Uh, so we went, um, our very first trip ever was at, to Fort Bragg and I had to do this whole secretive thing, you know, like I asked her dad for permission. We got there and it was fun and we had like a fun night and then the next day we went out to breakfast and went on like the skunk train and went to like the state park and walked around and... and um, I, I set this whole thing up to almost be to be planned kind of by her and so she sort of planned the trip but I knew the whole time that I was planning on proposing. And so we get there and the beach is deserted and um, and he had got this camera that he was playing around with and he's like oh let me take her pic you know we put it on a log he's like I'm, come here I'm gonna take a picture and then he turns to me and he starts you know doing his thing and and he got down on one knee and he asked and then I said yes and and then I, and we sat on the log and I was like can you repeat everything you just said because I didn't register it um, but we got to sit there and enjoy that and um, called you know our parents afterwards and bought a bottle of champagne on the way home and hung out at the hotel so it was really nice to just enjoy that between the two of us so I I think I knew it was gonna happen at some point but I didn't expect it to happen He just has this really easygoing nature and like he doesn't let very many things get to him and so that's really nice. Stacy is one of, if not the most caring person that I've ever met and I don't really know how else to explain it other than she gets me and she is just someone, she's probably the only person that I've ever been with that, that I've ever known really that just um, accepts me and likes me for the way that I am. And I feel the same way. Jeremy, I love you and I'm looking forward to spending the rest of our lives together. <laughs>
Her sincerity, patience, passion for sports, and I think I can speak for all of us here, ability to keep Jeremy in line when needed. <laughs> I made him fall for her that much faster. Well, it might have taken a little longer than expected, having attended the same middle school together, they are now finally ready to tie the knot and spend the rest of their lives together as husband and wife. As most of you know, true love begins well before the wedding day, and the efforts of marriage continue well beyond the ceremony. In a good marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands, and always remembering to say I love you 3,000 at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry, even if Jeremy throws your phone in the Delta. <laughs> And making sure to wake up for those early hikes, even if you stayed up late the night before. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow, and having the capacity to forgive and forget, even when Jeremy forgets to wear his lucky socks and the Warriors lose. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful, and also sharing kitchen duty. Jeremy, you cook and do the dishes. Stacy will make the salad. It is communicating effectively, despite differences. It is knowing each other's idiosyncrasies and working with them for the best outcome. It is sharing Anderson duty, slobber, butt scratches, 6 a.m. walks. It is not only marrying the right person, it is being the right partner. A brief moment in time and a stroke of the pen are all that are required to create the legal bond of marriage, but it takes a lifetime of love, commitment, and compromise, as I am sure you two have already found out having planned this wedding to make a marriage that's durable and everlasting. Today, you declare your love and commitment to each other before family and friends. Now, Stacy, please hold Jeremy's hands, palms up, so that you may see the gift that they are to you. These are the hands of your best friend that are holding yours on your wedding day, as he promises to love and cherish you through the years for a lifetime of happiness. These are the hands that will work alongside yours, as together you build your future, as you laugh, as you cry, and as you share your innermost secrets and dreams. These are the hands that will comfort you in illness and celebrate with you during those big slow pitch softball wins. <laughs> These are the hands that when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for yours. Now Jeremy, please hold Stacy's hands, palms up, so you may see the gift that they are to you. Uh, these are the hands of your best friend that are holding yours on your wedding day as she promises to love and cherish you through the years for a lifetime of happiness. These are the hands that will hold you tight as you struggle through difficult times. These are the hands that will comfort you when you are sick or console you when you are grieving during these seemingly never-ending rebuilding years for the 49ers. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. These are the hands that when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours. These are the hands that will give you support as she encourages you to chase your dreams. Together, as a team, everything you wish for can be realized. May these hands always be held by one another. May they have the strength to hold on during stressful times and disappointments. May these hands continue building a relationship founded in love, rich in caring, and devoted to one another. Now, at this time, Stacey and Jeremy have some special vows they'd like to share with you all and each other. Jeremy, you are my best friend and partner. I love that I can be myself completely around you. You bring balance into my life and I love your easygoing nature. I love that you can always make me smile. I love the person you are today and the person you're striving to be. I promise to look out for you the way you always look out for me and Anderson. I promise to be with you through the good times and the bad when the Warriors win the NBA championship <laughs> and when the 49ers lose the Super Bowl. <laughs> What's going on? I think Juno what said it best. Sense? In my opinion, the best thing you can do is to find a person who loves you for exactly what you are. Good mood, bad mood, ugly, pretty, handsome, what have you. The right person will still think the sun shines out of your ass. That's the kind of person that's worth sticking with. I love you and I look forward to laughing you with you for years to come. Wow. Was, <laughs> do I have to go? That was way better than what I wrote. <laughs> I, whew, that really was way better than what I wrote. Should've.
I never really believed in fate or that two people were meant to be together. But when I started thinking about our relationship and the fact that we met 10 years ago and that was insignificant, or it seemed like it at the time, and then we, we came back into each other's lives and we remembered that. And I think about all the, the weird and funny and different things that had to happen for us to be standing up here today, getting married. And it, it, makes me, it makes me believe that the universe wants us to be together. <laughs> and um, I don't know if, if that's just me making that up in my head or, <laughs> or what, but I don't think that it matters. What matters is that, that we're together and that I love you from the bottom of my heart. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. From the heart. Well, with this understanding, do you, Jeremy, promise to love Stacy and respect her, to share your life and your dreams, to build with her a home, of, a, a home that is a place of love, happiness, commitment, and growth? Do you promise to be a companion to Stacy in all of her successes and failures, her happiness and her sadness? To always give to her your unwavering support and above all else, the freedom to be yourself? I do. And to you, Stacy, with this understanding, do you promise to love Jeremy and respect him? To share in your life and your dreams? To build with him a home that is a place of love, happiness, commitment, and growth? Do you promise to be a companion to Jeremy in all of his successes and failures? His happiness and his sadness? To always give to him your unwavering support and above all else, the freedom to be himself? I do. Now it's my understanding you have for each other a ring. These rings have no beginning and no ending, which symbolizes that the love between you will never cease. You place these rings upon each other's fingers as a visible sign of the vows which this day have made you husband and wife. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll take this one, yes, yeah. So first, Jeremy, as you place the ring on Stacy's finger, please repeat after me. Let this ring be a symbol of my promise to you let this ring be a symbol of my promise to you. And a reminder of my devotion to you. And a reminder of my demo devotion to you. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> I am honored to call you my wife. I am honored to call you my wife. Right. Now, Stacy, as you place this ring on Jeremy's finger, please repeat after me. Let this ring be a symbol of my promise to you. Let this ring be a symbol of my promise to you. And a reminder of my devotion to you. And a reminder of my devotion to you. I'm honored to call you my husband. I am honored to call you my husband. <laughs> Jeremy and Stacy, you have expressed your love to one another through the commitment and promises you have just made. It is with these in mind and by the power vested in me by the state of California and the online entities of AmericanMarriageMinistries.com <laughs> that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Oh my gosh. Kissed, you have kissed a thousand times, maybe more, but today the feeling is new. No longer are you simply partners and best friends. You have become husband and wife and can now seal the agreement with a kiss. Jeremy, you may now kiss the bride.
first met Jeremy through his sister back when we were kids. I played softball and was in the same Girl Scout troop as Christina. Jeremy and I then reconnected as adults when he was filling a softball team for a slow pitch co-ed league. After multiple league championships, we had gone from teammates to drinking mates and then to roommates as he rented a room from, from my husband and I. When he finally got the eviction notice due to the uh, birth of our upcoming baby, <laughs> the only thing Jeremy asked for in return was to keep his birthday off limits. So of course, we had to go against all his wishes, and our daughter Charlotte now shares a birthday with her Uncle Jeremy forever. <laughs> For my bestie Stacy. We first met 11 years ago while we were working at a winery together. An instant friendship was formed while we bonded over great wine and our love of country music. Stacy has been one of my biggest supporters of the years, so naturally I've always wanted the best for you. And my husband Adam, I, Adam and I had gone on several double dates with her, but I always felt I always left feeling disappointed because I knew you were never truly happy and I always wanted you to find your Mr. Right. You know, someone who could appreciate your loyalty, someone who would, who would love dogs as much as you, <laughs> someone to join you in your outdoor adventures, and someone who would appreciate your candid feedback and also someone willing to give you the space that you needed to sit outside with a cup of coffee, a good book, and your dog. Fast forward three years ago to our slow pitch softball team. Our team was in need of, a, of an, another girl to play on our team, and I knew the perfect person. It's Stacy. As far as I knew, Jeremy and Stacy were just teammates and friends and nothing more. That was until a girl's trip up to Tahoe and I had seen Jeremy's name pop up on her phone multiple times. So I finally looked at her and I said, Jeremy? Like Rosenblatt? From the team? And Stacy had played her best poker face I had ever seen. And she dismissed all my questions. And then the greatest thing happened. They clicked. They complement each other's strengths and they're better together. And anyone who's been around them can see how effortless their love for each other is. Stacy has finally found her Mr. Right, and I'm so excited to be up here to celebrate your love tonight. So I love you guys. Let's raise a, a toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Rosa Black. I know he's real excited about this. Hey everybody, Ooh. I'm Josh. Yeah, Josh. I'm really good. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to make this quick because I have to go to the bathroom. Um, I've been told by a pretty trustworthy source. I met Jeremy about 27 years ago, San Ramon Regional Hospital. Since then, I've taken everything I could from him, from his mannerisms to his clothes, even his email address, jdog1 at yahoo.com. <laughs> He met up with me about six months ago, and he's like, hey, I really don't want you to speak at my wedding, but you're my only brother, so here we are. <laughs> I want to start off by thanking everybody for coming. There's a lot of people here. Everybody came from all over the place. Livermore, San Ramon. <laughs> New York. New York, Maryland, New York. Jersey, yeah, all over. And it amazes me how far people are going to travel for some free food. <laughs> Special thank you to the parents, Jeremy's parents, Jerry and Carol, who are also my parents, and <laughs> Stacy's parents, Tom and Kathy. Without you guys, I'd probably be giving this speech at Porky's Pizza, so. <laughs> thank you so much. Well done. 
Bridesmaids, you look good. <laughs> Stacy, you look amazing. Everyone, doesn't Stacy look amazing? Yeah. You could have shaved. <laughs> Growing up with Jeremy as my older brother uh, was interesting to say the least. I know he looks a lot older than me, and it surprises people that um, we're only 16 years apart. <laughs> or so. <laughs> he was actually a pretty good older brother, though. Uh, he taught me a lot. He was there for a lot of my firsts. Uh, he taught me a lot about drinking alcohol. <laughs> taught me how to delete my internet browser history. <laughs> Took me to my first college party. Got to see what life was like outside of mom and dad's house. It was great. There's college girls everywhere, red solo cups. Did my first keg stand. First shot of whiskey. How old were you? Did my second keg stand. Got sick for the first time. And there he was, big brother, standing over me teaching me to throw up in the bathroom, not on his kitchen sink. In all seriousness, Jeremy was a great older brother. Oh man, there's a lot left. He was my role model and someone I always looked up to. He, he always, what? He was always there for me. Hold on, one second. He was always there for me when I needed a ride to friends' houses or school, practice, anything like that. And uh, if I didn't need a ride, he always made, made time to hang out with me. And we, whether that meant playing poker nonstop for like hours on end, or uh, playing Ken Griffey Jr. and Madden, even though we'd always lose. Okay, that's not true. <laughs> or playing Pepper until someone would lose their temper. <laughs> uh, he was always there, and that meant a lot to me. He even let me hang out with these misfit friends of his up here. <laughs> I know it couldn't have always been easy having a younger brother around, especially when it comes to annoying younger brothers. I was like going for a title. <laughs> uh, as a 12 or 13 year old, there's no better feeling uh, when you're standing on the pitching mound in Little League. It's two strikes and your big brother's standing behind the backstop cheering you on. You throw a halfway decent curveball and his jaw drops and he starts screaming. Uh, he was my biggest fan, my best friend, and I couldn't have asked for a better big brother. So thanks, dude. Now, Stacy. You're beautiful, smart, kind, funny. You're really good at spreadsheets. And most importantly, you make my brother happy in a way that I never could. Stacy and I have gotten along from the beginning. I think she knew I was such a crucial part of Jeremy's life that she made it a point to earn my trust, respect, and support for them. Literally, until this point, I've made her earn it all the time. I'd be lying if I said I was never worried about my relationship with my brother changing once Stacy started hanging around. <clears throat> but if anything, it got better. I couldn't have picked a better partner for Jeremy. Between softball games on Friday nights, barbecues, other weddings, Tahoe or Reno trips where Stacy shows us a nice new gluten-free recipe that isn't that bad. <laughs> I've grown to love spending time with the two of them and love Stacy like a sister. Is that supposed to happen? <clears throat> Almost there, guys. <laughs> uh, growing up, I always looked up to mom and dad's relationship. They had everything I ever wanted. Fun, love, success, support. They argued, but they always said, I love you. Uh, they taught us about caring, respect, and always being there for each other. We were like the best little family. And it's no longer just their relationship to look up to anymore. And it's no longer, <laughs> no longer just my big brother to look up to either, with you here by his side, Stacy. Uh, on that note, uh, <laughs> don't like that. Let's have a toast. For those who play, Bull Moose, for everyone else, 
Thank you for being here. Cheers to the beautiful couple. Stacy, welcome to the family. Jeremy, happy wife, happy life. Love you guys. I'm so happy for you. Woo, 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 woo. Man. Everybody, welcome. On behalf of the Comptons, the Rosenblatt families, we can't thank you enough for your travels to be here today to celebrate this incredible day. So, I've been dreading this speech for a long time. <laughs> No less than 65 people have asked me, Tom, how you doing? <laughs> so, I'm going to enjoy this. Lainey, my wife's niece, just brought me some Irish encouragement. <laughs> As I look at my daughter, the bride, I can't help but reflect on all the years that I've been so lucky to watch her grow from a little t-ball player to this wonderful woman that she's become today. Yeah. And now, She marries Jeremy, her guy, a wonderful guy, her man. And Kath and I are feeling a lot of pride to watch them embark on their life together. So, Stacy and Jeremy, you've heard this a lot. You've heard it a million times. Your life is just beginning. You'll have your glory days, you'll have your sad days, and as long as you have each other, you'll have all that you need. And finally, I'd like to offer Jeremy a friendly piece of advice. <laughs> <laughs> because about 16 months ago, I got a text. Hey, Tom, have you got time to hook up for a beer? <laughs> and I was staring at my phone going, this is what I think it is, isn't it? <laughs> so my hat's off to Jeremy because, you know, I know it wasn't easy. And he was hoping that if I could just get through a half hour with Tom. <laughs> so I made it a point that Jeremy would stay there and drink for two and a half hours. <laughs> so Jeremy, back to the advice. <laughs> On those days when you're wrong and Stacy's right, <laughs> admit it. <laughs> and on those days where you're right and Stacy's wrong, don't say a word. <laughs> Would you please raise a glass to Stacy and Jeremy Rosenblatt? Thank you all for coming tonight.
we wanted to take this opportunity to wish Stacy and Jeremy a happy life. And we know their, their life will be filled with love and happiness. And we just want to take this time to tell them how much we appreciate them and how much we look forward to becoming grandma and, I'm sorry, Nana and granddad, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, what did you want to say? Yeah, Jeremy, we are so happy for you and Stacy. We love you so much. We've waited for this perfect day for ever. 33 years. 33 years. And we're just so thrilled that you've picked a beautiful wife and you're, we're really looking forward to you having a beautiful life together. We love you. Ditto. <laughs> Congratulations, Stace. We're so excited for you. Oh, he's videoing. Oh, God, I guess, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what's happening? Yeah, no, yeah. Great, that worked? Even yeah. something like that. Congratulations. I, I mean, honestly, I, yeah.